Hey everyone. Hey, welcome. Give a few more seconds for people who are joining. So today we are talking about the shiny line. So I am um, Kristen. I am one of the Zillaboo muses. I am a licensed nail tech and now I am a full-time content creator. And today we are talking about Shiny. And Shiny is a super great brand. This is um, the number one uh, Korean brand for nail tools. And they specialize in bits and nippers and pushers and e-files and lamps. And so we are going to be talking about all things Shiny today. So first off, I wanted to start by, I'll move these to the side, wanted to start by talking about the, um, the e-file. So, um, excuse my crazy hands. I painted this side red because I'm going to be showing, I'm, gonna I'm going to be demoing, um, some of the products on myself later in the live. But to start off, I'm going to show you their e-file. So this is the box that it comes in. Something that I love about Korean brands is when you get their collections, you get a full experience. So this e-file is no, no different. So this comes in a super luxe box. So when you open it, oh, this is all that you get. Okay, so first up, I'll show you. This is the e-file. The e it comes with this beautiful pebbled leather and gorgeous gold detailing. It also has a digital display to turn it on, hold it down for two seconds. And then it has a digital, digital t display and shows you the um, battery life, your RPMs, and then what direction it's in. So forward or reverse. So I'll show you more of that later. Okay, you also get a handpiece comes in this super nice box. Yes, I will definitely be talking about the bits. So this is the handpiece. This, I would say this is like a medium um, width to it. Um, hey Jess. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. Um, medium width. I've had some that are like kind of girthy and then I've had some that are really kind of pencil thin and I feel like I'm holding them really tight but this is a really nice medium weight and I, I like that it does have it's not heavy but it does have some weight so you're not feeling like you're like flopping around with it so yeah really like this hand piece so then to attach that you would just put it in here so easy peasy and then you also get a stand for your hand piece let me move that aside. Then you also get your um, charger. I'm assuming this is a Korean um, plug, but you also get a US adapter in there. And I've used it and it works. So nice that they have that. And then you also have your bits. So you get your high end shiny bits. And I've added all these up, and this is $146 value, so that is a great deal. And then you have six bits in here. Um, you have four carbide bits, one diamond bit, and then a brush bit that can like take away dust and debris. So I will be talking about these more in depth as we get into the demo. Okay, so that is the e-file. I'll put that away. And then we also have their um, cuticle pushers. So these are their kind of high-end cuticle pushers. So we have, I think it's called the Re-Raise, um, the Re-Raise F and the Re-Raise D. So, okay, someone asked, how does it compare to your cordless drill? I'm deciding between them. 
Okay, so that's a great question. So, okay, let's go back to the drill bit or the drill really, or the e file really quick. So, these are both, I can actually pull out the Zillow one too. So, these are both cordless. This one has the, um, the, this one is just the, the motor and the handpiece is in one, where this is a two, two part. So, this one can go up to 30, 30 RPMs. This one can go up to 35 RPMs. And um, the weight, this is probably a little bit heavier just because it has your motor in the handpiece as well. Um, but these are great options, especially if you're a traveling nail tech. Um, but I think when I'm at home, I will definitely be using the um, the shiny, shiny e-file. Okay, I hope that helped. Okay, let's go back to the cuticle pushers. So this is the re-raise F and the re-raise D. So another thing with Korean brands, you're going to get high quality packaging with these. So let's show you that. This is the D. So I'm just Amanda. Is it beginner friendly? Yes, 100% it is beginner friendly. Are you referring to the the e-file or something else? Um. Yeah, I'll wait for you to answer that. Okay, so this is re-raise D. So you have, it's a, both sides has your cuticle pusher. And so these are, this is the only patented pusher in Korea. So, and this is optimizing for pushing cuticles with only the weight of the pusher itself. Meaning that when you put it on your nail plate, you don't have to like dig in there and push hard. You can, um, you don't have to use extra force to get the job done. Um, so, and then you can use this without discomfort to the nail plate or to the epinicium. So there's that one. And then if you can see the angle on this is very different from other cuticle pushers. Other, other cuticle pushers just have a straight shaft. But if you look at this, like underneath, it's a nice angle too. So that when you push down, it's not just like digging in there. You have it like at an optimal um, angle. Okay, so there is D. So there's two two sides and they have different widths on there. So this one could be good for like wider nail beds. And then this one could be great for more narrow nail beds. Um, also for like if you do pedicures, this would, would be great for toes. Okay, so that is D. And let's look at F. So this one is F. This also has, well, let's compare them. So this has a smaller head to it, a smaller pusher. Still has that really nice angle that's going to protect your client or yourself. Okay, and then this is different from, from D in that it has a flat, flat head on the other side. So with this, you can get in there and you can remove any remaining debris that you have on your nail plate and it's going to get in there. So this has a really nice flat head to it. Yes, yeah, some nail beds are tiny. I have very tiny nail beds and so I would reach for this the most because I like that I'm able to see um, see exactly what I'm doing. So this is an ideal size for me. Oh, thank you. Thank you for saying my nails are pretty. So I did them just for this live so we can take them off. Okay, and let's go to nippers next. Okay, so this is number two. I thought we could open this together. So the cool thing about these is these are sealed so you know that no one else is touching them. Okay, let me get a... Let me get a straight edge. Okay, Fairy Nails, you said, what's the name of that? What are you referring to? Okay, so I'm going to open that. Okay, oh, and this is um, magnetic closure. They, they really do think of everything when they do these. So you have an information card and a coupon. Um, I did a transline on this. If you collect 10 of these, you can send them into shiny Korea and, um, you can get uh, a product from them, I believe, which is kind of cool that they do that. Okay. So that's more information about it. 
Let's see, what's the name? Okay, you're referring to the cuticle pusher. Okay, so these are these are called the Re-Raise F and the Re-Raise D. Okay, so the Re-Raise D, you're going to have a slightly larger um, head on that, and Re-Raise F is a little bit smaller. Okay, I hope that helps. Okay, skinny number two. Okay, so let's go back into this. So this is what it looks like. This is a super luxe box. It's like a textured um, outside. And then this is what the, the nipper looks like. So this nipper comes with the silicone head on it. The cool thing about this head is that you can put this in your disinfectant and it will protect the, the tip of your nipper. So this is a three and a half, size three and a half, which I personally like for my nails. I, um, once again, I have narrow nail beds. And so I like that this is smaller so I can have the control that I'm nipping right where I want to. It also comes in a four and a half size, which would be great um, if you want something that has a larger head on it. Okay, so this is number two. Number two is a matte kind of brushed metal. And then number one is a like a polished metal. And these are both made out of titanium steel. So something that's really cool about these is the, um, the arm on this. So this, this is a patented arm. And it's designed in such a way for ease of comfort in your hand. And when you are nipping, the, the way it works is it's so soft and gentle. So I saw on the description that it says that it's a anti-pinch um, anti -pinch nipper. I'm like, hmm, okay, what does that mean? And the first time I tried these, I was seriously blown away with how gentle and soft feeling these, these are. I've had other nippers where um, I feel like, because I, I go in, not deep, but I take... Um, I take all my dead skin off, so I like to get in there, and I have had the feeling where it, it pinches, and these ones just feel really soft on the nail, and I think it has something to do with the angle of the blade, so these took two years to develop, so I am a huge fan of these. I will never be without these nippers, and then if you look at the, the size of it, it's a good size, not too big, not too small, so I'm a huge fan of these nippers okay so let's go to bits so we'll talk about the bits that come in the case so first up you have this is the this is the off bit dory and this is so8 i don't know if you can see it maybe i'll adjust my light there we go so one thing I really like about these is they have the, the name of the bit on here. So it says shiny S S O eight. I don't know if you can see that. So this, I would use this to remove color. So what I have on my hands, I have a structured base on my hands, on my nails. So I would use something like this to remove color. And then I can keep that, um, my clear base underneath. So I'm going to show this later and demo this. And I've already disinfected these. If you're buying new bits, make sure you disinfect your bits. Very important. Okay. Oh, and then one other thing. I like this. Ha this has a, this is a safety top. So you can get into, um, get in there and not damage your nail plate or, or your skin. Okay. Let's look at, this one is the off bit shoe con. This is SO12. So this one you could also use to remove color. I like the angle of this so you can get in and it has different um, grits on it. So if you're using the body of it, it's going to take off more product. Or if you're using it at the very tip, it's going to take off, it's going to take off less product. So I've used this on my last, um, on my last set. I use this to remove just a little bit of little lifting that I had on uh, the edge and so I'll show you how I use that too. And I also used it to smooth down um, my remaining product that was left on. So this is this is SC SC1. So you would remove the you would use this to remove like calluses. You could also use this to remove um, corns on your feet. So I haven't tried this one yet, but you could use that to remove like really rough, really rough skin. Okay, this is a unicorn bit. This is SO6. 
This you can use. I'm going to show how to use this. I'll use this to remove my charms. You can also use this to remove, um, if you have flooding in your sidewalls, you can use this to remove any flooding. So th this is a very useful tip or useful bit, excuse me. Okay, and my diamond bit. So this is SC, SC2. This is used for um, removing dead cuticle on the nail plate. So I use... I use this bit for every service. This is a fantastic bit. Okay, and then lastly, the brush bit. This we'll use to get the dust out of our, um, from our nail, or use, you can also use it to remove dust from your bits. So, okay, those are those bits. I have a few other bits that I've, that I have that don't come in the kit. So this is a removal bit. Um, I will demo using this one. Um, this is, let's see, this is SO11. And then we have two silicone, silicone bits. These are my favorite new discovery. These are um, the silica bit and the, the Baudry bit. And these do amazing things for your, um, your cuticles. And I shall, I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so let's dive in to the demo. So I'm going to start off by, I'm not going to, normally I would use a vacuum to remove my, when I remove any color, but I don't want it to be super loud. So we're not going to use a vacuum. So I'll just lay down some paper towels. Okay. So I'm going to take my e-file, turn it on, press on for two seconds. Okay. Now it's on. And I want to be in forward direction. I'm right-handed, so I want it to be in forward direction. Then I'm just going to twist this, take that out, and then we will start with... I will go through all of these like I'm, I'm, I would do a client. So the first thing I would do is I would remove any charms that they have on their hands. So I'm going to put this one in. Okay, I always give it a little tug to make sure it's secure in there. So for this one, I'm going to go up to... This is recommended 10 to 15,000 RPMs. So I'm going to start with 15 and see how that does. Let's see if we can get a little more light in here. So I'm just going to go into the grooves of my charms. I'm going to have my bit parallel. I'm not going to like dig in there. I'm going to try to keep it parallel because I don't want to dig into my nail plate. Okay, I'm gonna increase my speed just a little bit. So we'll go up to 20 RPMs. So these are my um, kind of cheap plastic rhinestones. I didn't wanna use my Swarovskis. <laughs> so if these get beat up, it's totally okay. Okay, I put those on really good. Okay, so I'm just going to get the gel that's surrounding the, the charms or the, the crystals. Okay, I'm going to grab my Let's turn it 
turn that off. Let me grab my, my nippers and we'll, I guess these aren't really nippers, but there we go. Those come off really easily when you take off the gel around it. Okay, easy peasy. So now I have kind of a mound of gel on there. So then I would take this bad boy and take that one out, put that one in, and then we will remove this. Okay, and this one recommended is 10 to 15. I would actually go up higher than that. I like to do like 25, 30. So, so we'll start off 25. Okay, so I'm going to anchor my elbows on my table. Just do smooth, even strokes. Okay, when you're doing this, I recommend wearing a face mask and some goggles. Okay, I'm going to go up a little higher because I'm hearing some resistance. So I'm going to go up to 30. There we go. That sounds better. So e smooth, even strokes. You don't want this to look like um, Swiss cheese. And to get all of that color off. So I'm just getting the color off. I'm going to leave my base underneath. So when I leave my base, I don't have to soak. I don't have to soak off. And that keeps the integrity of my nails, my nail plates. And this is actually much quicker than soaking off. I'm going to get all that color off. And then I have quite a good amount of base because my nails are longer. If I was doing a, sh if I had a shorter nail and maybe a thinner base, I would use a different bit. And I will do that bit next and show you. So with this, this is a pointed bit, so I'm able to get up in there with my bit and take off all the color. So I do short little strokes. I just wanna be really careful with my nail plate. I don't want any indentations on my nail plate. And then if you don't get all the color with your bit, that's totally fine. You can use one of your um, diamond bits too and get in, get in there. I've done that many times. I would rather preserve the integrity of my nail. Okay. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Okay, then with this, I would just go in and I would do a fill and I'm ready to go. Well, I would do my cuticle prep work and all that stuff, but color is removed and this is ready to go. Okay, so that is that one. So I'm going to turn the power all the way off. This won't let you, um, this won't turn on unless this is locked, which is a good thing. I'm going to take that off. I'm going to put that that to the side let's get a brush and brush all this dust away so you can see what we've done brush these while I'm at it okay so now I'm going to show you using this one so like I said earlier I would use this for um like my a one color like exactly what I'm doing a one color coat that I just want to remove so I have two layers of color and a, 
one layer of top coat. So this is also recommended 10 to 15 RPMs. So let's turn that up. So just a reminder, this is the Offbit Dory SO8, recommended 10 to 15 RPMs. I'm going to do 20, okay? So same thing, steady, even strokes. We want to avoid Swiss cheese. So this is a safety bit, so you can get in there and get close to your skin, and it's not going to hurt you. So I like this e-file because it's not very loud. I don't know how it is on your end. I hope it's not loud on your end. But what I'm hearing is not very loud. And it feels very smooth and it's very comfortable in my hands. It's always a little awkward doing it on yourself, but that is okay. Get all the stuff from the side. Go on top, get near the cuticle line. And I go this side. So I'm keeping it in forward position the entire time. And for this, I don't need to go in reverse. We'll do reverse when we get into our cuticle care. But right now we're just in forward because I'm right-handed. If you're left-handed, you would do it in reverse. Okay, and just down the side. You can get in there. This feels, this is the first time I've used this bit and it feels very comfortable, very soft. So I'm touching my skin and I'm not feeling any discomfort at all. Okay, and we can also kind of shape this too while we're at it. Look down the barrel, that looks pretty good. Okay, and with this, we, you can also take down the length if you'd like. So I, I do it at an angle. Oop. Not like that. Okay, so you can take down the length if you like. All right. Lots of dust. Just brush that off. Brush off my handpiece. Okay, and I'll dust off myself. So I think we'll just do two, two fingers, we'll leave the rest on. Okay, make sure you get all that red off. I'm going to go ahead and throw this away as we start our cuticle work. Okay, so now let's take this off. So I'll show you, since we're here, I will show you a little brush what you can use this for. So I'll turn this on. I'll turn it on to like 10,000 RPMs. So I can use it here on my nail, get off any remaining debris, and I can use it here on my bit, which is kind of fun. And then I can put that in my disinfectant. Okay, there's that one. Let's look at, this is the Offbit uh, Shukon SO12. I'll just show you how this works. This is also recommended 10 to 15. We'll put it at 15. OK, 
Okay, so this one is very soft. So I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna remove that remaining gel that I have in there. This works great. If there's a little bit of lifting, look, I have a little tiny, I don't know if you can see it, little tiny pocket of lifting right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just remove that. So when I remove my lifting, I want to have my bit on the side that is attached to the nail. I don't want to be on this side. I want to be on this side. So go ahead and take that off. This is so gentle. Here we go. Okay, I got rid of the rest of my red. With this one, I can do any shaping with this I want as well. That's a loud one. Okay. And we'll get rid of the red on this one as well. So I like the pointed in here so you can really get in to those crannies, nooks and crannies. No lifting on this one. Let's see, there's just a tiny bit of red. I don't know if you can see that. My lighting's kind of funky. Okay, and then I can just do some shaping with that as well. So, I really like this bit. I will use this bit often. Okay, there you go. Now we are ready for our cuticle care. And this is my most favorite part, I think, of any service is cuticle care. Because it's so satisfying to have crusty cuticles and then remove them. So I'm going to start with my cuticle pusher. So I'll show you how that works. Actually, let's brush this off really. I'm going to get a new one because that one's covered with red. Okay. Okay. Get rid of any debris on there. Clean hands. Okay, let's find. I'm going to use uh, this is Re uh, Reraise F. This is my, uh, the one that I like for my, my little narrow nail beds. So I'm going to go ahead and push that back. I don't have a ton. Normally, my nails are pretty um, overgrown and crusty. Because I am terrible at putting on cuticle oil. Is anyone else really bad at putting on cuticle oil? I know all the reasons why you should use it, but I just don't do it. I'm really good at putting on skincare on my face, but not in my hands. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and push this. I don't have to push very hard. This pusher is doing all the work. Okay. So there is that. And let's, let's grab this one, okay? This is my magic friend. I love this bit so much. I use this bit on all of my services. So this is the, um, this is the Off-Bit Droplet SC2, if you wanted to pick that one up. So this one is great if you want to make a pocket. So you know those beautiful Instagram nails where it looks like the, um, the gel is coming out of, of your skin. This is the bit that you're going to use to, to do that effect. So recommended is 10 to 15, or no, excuse me, it's six to eight. I'm, I don't have a lot on my nail plate right now, so I'm gonna keep it on eight. Okay. So to start off, I'm in forward position and I'm going to move to the left. Okay, and my angle, I don't want to have it flat because I'm going to, I would create a divot on my nail plate. So I'm going to have it at a, about a 45 degree angle. So I want to follow the, the, the slope of the nail or the angle of, sorry, I'm going to follow the slope of the bit. So I'll have it about there. Okay. 
make sure my lighting is right. I, got, I, want, I really want you guys to see this. Maybe I'll zoom in. Yeah, let me zoom in. So you guys can see this. There we go. Okay, I'm on 8,000 8, RPMs. Sorry, I've been saying 8, but it's 8,000. 8,000 RPMs. I'm just going to go in there. Get all that dead skin. Okay, I can even go to the side too. And I'm going to focus on the corners here because that's where I feel like I get the most dead skin. Okay, let's brush that. Keep my brush handy. So we will use that a lot. I'll do my thumb. Same thing. I'll have my bit angled at about 45 degrees. And I'm going to softly get all that dead skin with this bit. So if you... If you're going in there and you see that it's not removing as efficiently, just turn up your um, RPMs. So I'm going to go up to 10. Okay, I can even go and keep it in forward direction and do it on this side too. It's so whatever is comfortable for you. Okay. So I'm going to use my brush, take that off so I can see what I'm doing in this corner. I can also use the flat end of my re-raise F to get out that dead skin on the corner. And look, I have a little fleck of red there. I could use this and just remove that fleck. And with this one, this is great that you can use the body of this and you can exfoliate that dry skin around the nail. And it's super soft. So this is, would be considered a fine, um, a fine bit. There's fine, medium, and coarse. This would be fine. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Let's... So now I'm going to flip it to reverse. So I like to turn off my motor all the way um, just to preserve the, the integrity of my motor. So and then I'm going to push down. I'll show you. Let's dust this off. This is really dusty. I'm just going to push it down once and it's going to move to reverse. So same thing. I'm going to put this up to 10,000 10, RPMs but we're in the reverse direction. Okay. So same thing, I'm gonna have that bit at a 45 degree angle, so I'm not creating any divots on my nail plate. I'm gonna use soft pressure. You don't have to like dig in there. Let the bit and the e-file do all the work. Okay, and then I can also use the body and go through there, remove any dead skin. So here, do you see how I put, I can put my, the bit basically underneath my skin. And so when you do that, you're able to, once you put on color, you're able to do that really cool effect of the nail getting tucked, or the, excuse me, the gel getting tucked under the skin. Okay, I think I have most of it on here. So the reason we do this, you want a perfectly clean nail plate. Um, and this is what ensures that you have excellent adhesion. So if you have a clean nail plate, you shouldn't, and you prep properly, um, 
any lifting. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Okay, let's clean that. Very nice. <clears throat> the same thing on this one. Go in reverse. I see some dead skin on there. I just want to gently take off that dead skin. I'm not pushing. I'm not using a lot of pressure at all. See how that looks yeah that looks pretty good that is a clean plate so let's turn that off and so I normally I wouldn't use a nipper for for these nails there's not much to trim but let's see if we can go in just a tiny bit to show you how this works. Super soft, super gentle nippers. I have a, um, a client that gets really, she's very sensitive to nippers and she did fantastic with these. Yeah, there's not much to nip. I don't want to I don't want to be aggressive. Yeah, we're going to leave that like that. Um, but let's go into let's talk about the silica bits now. So, I after I do my prep, I'm going to go in with this bit. This is the the silica SC6. This is great before you do your gel. So, after I've um I've cleaned I've used my bits to clear my nail plate. I've done my nippers. Now I'm going to go in with this. And this is going to um, kind of buff, buff around the skin. Yep, seal the cuticle, exactly. Okay, so that is in there. This is recommended um, six to eight thousand RPMs. So I'm going to go in with here. So this one I don't, oh, I'm in reverse. Let's go to forward. This one I don't use with oil. My next one I will use with oil. So I'm just going to go in. So I've used other like ball bits for this step, but the thing with ball bits is you can't touch your nail plate, otherwise those will um, like leave an indentation. So this one, I can touch my nail plate and nothing will happen to it. So I'm just gonna go in there. Look how easy that was. It looks better already. Seal that. I am completely in love with these bits. Even if there's like a little bit left of debris, you can get that on your plate. So I just keep this in forward the whole time. And this one, I'm in 6,000 RPMs. There's any dry skin. So these bits do not come with the, the set. But this is a great deal. I believe... I believe this is $12, um, which I think is a good price. But yeah, there's that one. Love, love, love. Let's see. Can you do mirror defect? I don't know what that means. Can you demo an ice aurora nail, please? I would love to. Yeah, let's make that happen. Yes, $12. Awesome. Yeah, I, this is also a forever repurchase for me. So now we're going to go into the, the Baudry, Baudry H, I think it's called. This is S, SC3. 
Okay, so this one, after I do my color, after I do my top coat, when I'm done with my service, that is when I would use this, um, this bit. So I'm gonna get some cuticle oil and I will show you how I would use my cuticle oil with this. So I'm just gonna do a drop here. Okay, this is my personal cuticle oil. If this was a client, I would not be touching their skin. So there's that. Oh, you know what? I forgot. Let's cleanse. We have to cleanse it. We don't want to go in with dusty, dusty nails. Okay, let's cleanse that first. Get any remaining debris out. Okay. Go ahead and wipe that off too. Okay, and I realize this nail looks crazy, but that's all good, because I will take care of it. Okay, now let's go in with some oil, and I'll show you what this can do. Okay, we're gonna go in with a drop there and a drop there. Just gonna rub that in. Okay, now this one is also six to 8,000 RPMs. This one also does not come in the set, but this is a definite, I will always have this on hand because I really like this one. So I'm at 8,000 RPMs, I'm in forward, and I'm just gonna lightly go in and buff that in. So if you see any like dead skin coming up, that is exactly what we wanna see when we use this. We want it nice and smooth. This will also seal your cuticle. Okay, and I'm gonna use it on this side. And the thing with this, if you accidentally touch your, your nail, it's gonna be okay, because it's just silicone. So with the ball bit, you would not want to touch your nail. Okay, and this one's really cool in that you can go down, you can use it on your nails. You can use it on any rough spots on your hand. So I would definitely need more, more oil for that, but loving this, loving this bit so much. And then when you do this, your nails look very nice for a long time. Okay. So yeah, that is that one. And I know it might be hard to tell because I'm not wearing any color on my nail, but I mean, that is a beautiful. So if I had a client, I would go in and I would just cleanse her, her plate. So she's not walking out with noily, oily plates, but yeah. So, I mean, that's a good looking cuticle right there or an epin epinicium. So yes, silicone bits, love, love, love. I will always have those on hand. So I think we are close to the end of our live, but does anyone have any questions before um, we sign off? Any questions about our e-file? Any questions about the bits? The, um, our nippers? Let's see what else we have. Our pushers? Any questions for me? If not, you can always DM me. Um, I am um, I'm on Instagram. I'm not on TikTok at the moment, but on Instagram, my account is Kiki Linnail. I know it's kind of silly, but it's my first and middle name and then just nail. So Kiki, K-I-K-I-L-A, nail. Um, so if you have any questions, please, my DMs are always open. Um, you're welcome to DM me anytime. Um, but if we don't have any questions, then I will end it there. So thank you all so much for joining me. Um, you're welcome to use my code on um, Zillaboo. It's Kiki10. You can save 10% off. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you all have a great night. Bye.